What would you do if Tesla gave you a car for the weekend? Road trip? <laughs>
nothing, okay? You've got to come and see the bathroom. This is magical. The bath is so big. And speaking of big, look at the size of this. I've never seen a shower head like it. That is insane. And then these tiles are really interesting. It's almost like wallpaper. Look at the size of this pendant. And again, it's just like so industrial. It's got that beautiful copper. It's really interesting the way that they've put their pendant there with a the mirror. It actually works really well. So this is actually kid friendly. And not only is it kid friendly, but it's, it's really kid friendly. Look at me. <laughs> Check out the music on it. <laughs> I got my sword. You got my sword? Oh no! I'll work on that one. So come on through. This is the master bedroom. So nice, it's got these. We'll bring this up. That is beautiful. Absolute heaven. I don't even know how to compute the scale of this bathroom. The scale of that spa is insane it's just so moody can you hear the echo which is just and then there's double shower heads over here can you get that this is very luxe it's got that decorative kind of wallpaper look to the tile there's so much kind of quirk there's a lot of quirk to these interiors but it works really well this is, I guess we could be doing some work, but I feel like we're not gonna be doing some work. I feel like this is more just a cool romantic pad. Oh, should we go check out the front? like a interesting little storage set for kind of like brandy glasses. And what I notice is that literally every room I go into, I feel like I'm stroking all of the surfaces. <laughs> it's just so tactile in here and I really like that. And I like the fact that the architect was very heavily involved in what materials went into this space. And I know you can just tell, like you just keep looking at things and there's just so many things to touch and feel and experience. And I think it makes it okay to spend all your time inside. <laughs> Because <laughs> you feel like you're part of it. You feel like you've got all of the experience. Dinner time. I'm excited. Although 
I probably could have just stayed on that window seat all night, I've got to admit. It's very cosy indeed with that fire going. That it was. What do you think about the villa? Pretty fancy. Oh. Pretty nice. I like cozy. spent most of the afternoon like touching all the surfaces. <laughs> How far is the Captain Tesla say that we've got Captain to go? Captain Tesla says 10 minutes. How pretty is this? You can see why people get married here. Do you want to renew our vows? We only just did it. <laughs> Top of Headburn's a family business and we yeah. own three of these two bedroom, two bathroom villas, four of the shipping container hotel rooms. Yeah. Tell me about villas. Tesla and why, like what motivated yeah. you to put the yeah. ecosystem in? Well, we, we try to be as eco-friendly as possible and yeah. I would never have considered myself a greenie. There's little doubt that we're killing the planet. So, yeah. you know, we try to save water, we try and reuse a whole lot of things, refurbish, repurpose the whole lot. And to me, it made sense to partner with someone like Tesla. So They make it pretty easy to be a greenie though, to be oh. fair. I mean, it's very it's, cool. <laughs> I mean, where else can you buy eco-friendly stuff that looks really sexy exactly. and does the job that it's meant to do? It. Exactly. Nice. So we've just plugged in, which is good because we, yeah. we've done some honing around. So yeah. <laughs> we kind of ran that and battery The crazy down. thing about the system, look at the weather. We're actually generating two kilowatts of power right now. Oh right, okay. Even when it's really? raining, we generate power that's through the solar system. It's, it's nuts. It's yeah. yeah. And so that's the power wall. Yep. So the solar system's on the roof that feeds power to the power wall. Yep. And then you charge from the charger. The idea of the Tesla app is that it allows you to track and control, you know, what power, see what's happening in your villa, so you can yep. learn about it. Yeah. <laughs> So all three of our villas are on here, you'll be able to see them and at the moment you're in a boat and when we got it this morning it was probably about 20% because it gets used overnight uh, despite the fact that it rained most of the day and it was overcast yeah, yeah. it's now charged to almost wow, okay. and it feeds a lot of power in the grid so even if you drain the battery we've fed so much power in the grid we draw it back and it's a net arrangement so we don't pay for what we draw back. Right. So the real benefit of something like this is you can tell what's happening where so for example you're charging now so it's using quite a lot of power. 1.6 kilowatts is coming from solar but this on a warm on a hot day anything from when it's not cloudy will be generating five kilowatts yeah right. there, which meets which will charge the battery charge most of the vehicle and run most of the villa for the whole day Don't answer the phone. <laughs> no Sorry, answer. Dad. We've got dining to do. 